My first HO train layout in a long, long time. Part 4. Charging the batteries, inserting the batteries into the battery cars, and running some trains around the layout. It's time to charge up some batteries, get them into the respective battery cars, and run some trains on the track work. Useful links are in the description below this video. Charging the batteries. Two EBL Universal Battery Chargers were used to charge three EFEST IMR 3.7 volt nominal 4.2 volt termination 350 milliamp hour high discharge flat top 10400 AAA size batteries. The Sky RC MC3000 multi chemistry charger was used to charge four SoShine. LIFEPO4 Life 3.2 volt nominal 3.6 volt termination 280 milliamp hour 10 400 AAA size batteries. A short video segment on using two EBL chargers. The two USB EBL chargers do not come with the power supply for them. The, uh, they've also been modified with some Velcro so that they will fit the EFEST 10400 size batteries. The uh, chargers are ready to go. All they have to do is be plugged in. When they're plugged in and charging, the red light comes on. They are not really going to be charged here. They were set in this area just to do the videotaping. The EBL charges have been moved back. All the lights are green. Something I failed to mention was that the empty slot always stays green. It shows that they are fully charged and ready to use. A quick side note regarding the EBL charger. The charger can also be used to charge three EFES 14500 AA size batteries for up to two hours of prototypical runtime when used in a three AA battery holder in a battery car. A short video segment on using the SkyRC MC3000 multi chemistry charger. The four SoShine life batteries will be charged using the Sky RC MC3000. It needs to be set up so that it's charging life batteries. And I need to go up one because my life is set there. Up one. And one more. Whoops. Now all of them are set and the batteries will be put in place. With the batteries in place and all of the programming set to two, Chargers started. You noticed it was blinking red and green alternately. Now it's all red, showing that it's charging, and when the batteries are done, it'll be all green. Once again, this charger will be moved to a safe charging area with no combustibles around it and a non combustible surface. Once the batteries are completely charged on the Sky RC charger, the lights all turn green. Loading the batteries into their respective battery cars. The following videos demonstrate how the batteries are loaded into their battery boxes and the tops put onto the battery cars to get ready to run on the layout. It also demonstrates how LocoFi works to control two trains at the same time. The app and Android device can actually control a lot more trains, but I only have two right now. Yes, these are the same clips as used in Part 3. 
adding the fourth battery you will hear the connection putting the box car on I'm going to start the app. manage Moving a battery to shut it off. Inserting the battery. Turning on LocoFi. This time both of the trains come up because they're both on. Manage, manage. CSX, turn it on. Conrail. Turn it on. CSX. Light on, horn, bell, move it forward. Switch it to the Conrail. Change it to reverse. Move it in reverse. It's coming. Conrail is now in forward. CXX is now in reverse. And it's all good. Shut them down. Exit. Okay. Remove the batteries or at least one. Not 
that hard. So we can get the box car back here. Remove a battery. Whoops. <laughs> and they're off. Running some trains. The following four short video clips demonstrate some of the possible mainline running with this track work, but it barely scratches the surface.
Let There Be Light. I purchased two Metalux SHP 4 foot 128 watt equivalent 10,000 lumens integrated LED white shop lights from Home Depot. They were installed over the center area of the layout. After the layout was moved to its semi-permanent location, it was leveled with a four-foot level. The next video clip shows the two trains running with the new overhead lights on. I suggest that my ebook website, A Journey into HO Scale Model Railroading in the 21st Century, should be checked at least on a monthly basis to see what I've learned, relearned, and where I'm going next with this project. If you have questions to ask or comments to share, my email address is linked at the top of my webpage. I would love to hear from you.